We, whoops, gotta keep moving. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we made it to the castle gates. Actually, we're past the castle gates. We're actually inside castle. Castle of Dracula. Um, obviously this was a lot quicker in Symphony of the Night. We're not gonna have that conversation. Of course, Castle of the Three was this whole song and pony show where it's like, which entrance to the castle did you want to take? Because there were three, I believe. And... I think one of yeah, well, I think one of the entrances got you Grant. Well, actually, Grant was Grant. Grant was a Grant was a detour. He was a tangent. Yeah, he was just he was just a side he was a side quest basically. Yeah, Grant was at the top of the clock tower. So he was a side quest. A handy uh a handy player at the end of the side quest because he he was helpful throughout the rest of the game. He was fast and climb walls. He could jump high. Okay, that. That guy, that, yeah, these dogs are going to tick me off. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. I'm going to cut that. Oh, my hands on the controllers. <laughs> sorry. Doing some spring cleaning. It's going to be 70 degrees today, so I'm going to have to open the windows. Of course, it could also, well, that's right, there's no pollen because, you know. There's no pollen because of all the rain. It's not, it's not exactly a day to play basketball, which would be my want. Whoops. Well, I got, I'm getting killed. I'm out of lives, aren't I? You have unlimited continues, though, right? Yeah, I can't actually beat the dog, so to speak. He just comes back to life. See? Why did I think the dogs could be defeated? Yeah. I just have to use the whip as a shield, I'll be fine. This is old school Castlevania, by the way. I'm getting killed! What the heck is this? Maybe I should have had a weapon of some kind. It would have been nice. Yeah, that dog's gonna come back to life, so don't dilly dally. Okay, we're going up. Yeah, I just took a bunch of dumb hits at the beginning of the stage. Good lord. Crap. I'm all dead! Ah! I guess I have to clear out the area before... <laughs> yeah, wow. Unlimited continues. Ahoy. Not complaining. I never said this was a no-death run. I'll do that later. I don't know if I care about the game. This is a no-death run, really. Didn't say the game was that... Why am I... Yeah, I... that dog's gonna kill me. Probably just need to jump over the dog. Crap. I'm getting... I'm freaking out. Gave me two whip shields to stop that dog. I just need to jump over it. Give me a bunch of trouble. Yeah, this is old school Castle Moon right here. Aha! Gotcha. Uh, R button? No. Got him. Alright, let me get some meat. No one has any meat around here, huh? Maybe later. Come on. There he goes. Okay, we're good. Ish. That bat's gonna kill me. Why is this so hard? This was a lot e I thought I remember, remember this being a lot easier. I remember dying all these times with these dumb bats and zombies. Anyway. It's not that hard. <laughs> All right, that oh yeah, this part. Mode seven, am I right? The music gets a bit interesting. Oh, what crap! I got, I got impatient. Okay, come on. There he goes. Okay, he's out of our hair. He's out of our. No, no, he's not. Another dog, I guess. I thought he was out of our. I should have waited. I know the bat's coming. I need to be patient. <laughs> that to be a lesson for you kids. Be patient. <laughs> ah! Eat it. All right. That crap. <laughs> yeah, don't whip. <laughs> yeah, don't 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 rush the whip. Where's that bat? Darn it! Darn it! 
Okay, so I can, I can bait him. So I can bait the bat. That helps. So I can handle this guy with my whip. I don't need this stupid water. Ha! Eat me. I don't relate enough. Uh, I guess I have that whip. So I had to use a whip shield to stop the bat, which isn't a bad idea. See? So, so it is somewhat useful in this game. I was worried it would never be useful. Whoops. I just let, I just let that thing get behind me. I was incredibly stupid. Ha! Okay. Still gonna die, so... Look, I promise I have to get past the chandeliers. Oh, wait, I forgot. Yeah, I forgot to do the song. What's the song? Yeah, I won't sing. But, you know. Someone's gonna sing the song about... The, someone's gonna sing the chandelier swing song, aren't they? Crap, I have to wait till it comes back. Freaking mode seven. Okay. Eh. Wanna? Okay, you know. I had to do it. I had to do it. That's all that's all you're gonna get. So I'm sure it's I'm sure you're <laughs> pleading I'm sure you're pleading for mercy for me to stop, because I could've I could have gone I could've, I could've kept going for a while with that. Okay. Now I'm not gonna be that hack who like splices in the song to this image here, this image. Cause who on the who on YouTube hasn't done that like twenty or thirty times since that song came out? Gosh darn it! Okay, I, I'm making this harder than it needs to be. Bat. Okay, where's that wolf? There you go. Dumb dog. Okay, I made it work. He's coming back, right? I got plenty of time on the clock. I'm not worried. Ha! Eat it. Can't be faded. Ow! Yeah, that was stupid. If I can't just stay here, I'm not gonna get that many points. I'm not gonna get that many extra lives either. Yeah, yeah. There's a bat around here, right? Yeah. So I'm not supposed to move until I know I can bait the bat into coming after me. I don't wanna. I don't wanna be attacked by these zombies with the bats are swooping down on me. Okay, gotta bait the bat. Bait the bat. There we go. Yes, yeah, so I have to use my uh air control to bait the bat. It worked. I think I de I think I despawned that enemy. I think I, yeah, I think I despawned that axe knife. There should have been one right down there behind me. Never showed up. Yeah, I must have despawned him. I wasn't expecting that. Ha! Can't beat me one on one. Okay. The whip is longer. Yeah, this is the longest whip in the Castlevania games, if I'm not mistaken. At least as far as, you know, regular weapons go. There might have been, like, a special move in Symphony of the Night or whatever that gave him a really long whip. Because his heart's worthless. I might have been picking it up. Yep, I'm up. I'm up. Yeah. The air control is incredibly handy here. You know how difficult that jump would be in a traditional NES Castlevania game? But again, why are they using mode 7 for this? I mean, I guess they figured the sprite could be bigger, I, I guess. But this is, I, I guess I always thought this was a chintzy effect. I mean, it's not a particularly well drawn chandelier either, so you know. And the music has potential. You know, they, like I said, NES piano samples are usually pretty good. Whoop! See? <laughs> Had a little air, air hop. Oh, I gotta do this, too. I forgot about this part. He's gonna have to swing on the chandelier from that hoop. That would've been interesting, though. Maybe a speedrunner could do it. Can't wait till it comes back. Okay, it stopped. <laughs> okay, got it. It's kinda tricky. Perhaps on a side note, I, I the game mode is turned on now. I totally forgot to turn on the game mode when I first started playing the Super NES Classic, I think. But as you can tell, it's not like I'm dying because I don't have game mode turned on. I'm dying because I don't know what I'm doing. That's a falling, that's a crumbling floor, isn't it? I thought that was a crumbling floor. Nah, it's just a cosmetic effect. The scrolling on this area has never been particularly... This, the scrolling on this area isn't good in the original game either. I never understood why the scrolling here is so weird. Oh, that thing! Ugh, I hate that thing. 
Yeah, that thing. Ugh, it just sits there and it just, ugh. Always gets in your mess. It always, it always bounces back when you don't want it to. It's just a transparency effect with a little, yes, a little epileptic, a little epileptic, uh, trigger right there. It's not cool, dude. It is not cool. Yeah, thanks, Konami. In the original game, yeah. But obviously it's toned down for the SNES Classic. Yeah, I, I gotta get a double shot. Because there's some enemies up here that... Actually, the boss... The boss makes the double shot really uh, useful. There we go. So see, I want to at least see if I can build towards that. Let me get a few more of these candles. Crap. Crap! I like being able to throw this from a crouch. Instead of having to hold up and press the B button like in the NES game. Remember those? Got that one. Oh, we can go through walls! <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. One more. I thought the axe was supposed to be stronger than the whip. But it's not. I wonder if those count towards my double shot. Killing those uh, random ghost enemies. Darn it! See, I can't get... Mmm! That's pretty bad. I'm not, I'm not gonna get another double shot, am I? Let me check. Wow. I guess it's coming from everywhere. Got him. They want to risk it. Just wanted to kill him. What? Nothing down here? No. Oh, well. Hope I get another double shot. Don't tell me I lost my only double shot. A lot of this in Castlevania games. Got him. For some, for the axe to pass. Uh, let's get that first. Not a... What? Crap! So now what? <laughs> maybe, maybe it'll respawn in a second. Let's see if it respawns. Nope. Let me see if it'll respawn if I go all the way up. Because otherwise I'm going to die. I like the idea of a spinning spike platform, but why would they just have it there, of all places? Well, of course, obviously this part of the game was designed for backtracking if you mess up that jump. Okay, so, re okay, so it did recharge. Good. Ah! Ah! See? Got your lag right here, kids. <laughs> See? Sometimes it's about strategies. I'm not going to get a double shot, am I? I lost my double shot, didn't I? The bones are a nice effect, but they cost too much slowdown. Just saying. There! Finally! Wow! How annoying was that? <laughs> I'm going to die anyway. Let's see if I can get that. Nah, it's worthless. I thought these were supposed to... They are supposed to crumble and fall. <laughs> so I was right. <laughs> anyway. I guess I got a decent chip. But I lost my triple shot. Freaking game. So it's not to do the chandelier bit again. Well, this, this is the regular chandelier bit. Of course, these chandeliers look a lot better than the one in that other room. So, I mean, that was always the compromise you made with Mode 7, is that, yeah, most of the time, you got 60 FPS. I want to say all the time you got 60 FPS, but... The other problem was that the sprites that were actually being scaled, the background that was actually being scaled, looked awful. It was like taking a, a low-resolution JPEG and blowing it up to, like, a thousand percent. Of course it's going to look awful. Unless it's a really... Unless you... I think what a lot of guys did is they just used like a really poorly drawn low resolution background, like, you know, it was 240p, like a really bad low resolution image, and they blew it up and made it part of the Mode 7, so. In that case, you got a really bad looking, uh... in fact, you weren't, even, you, weren't even, you weren't even scaling that chandelier. It was just kind of a really badly drawn regular chandelier, I guess. Then you just blew it up. So you're using the mode seven for the physics, which is actually that's actually not an it's actually not a bad way to use physics. That you're it's easier to use mode seven for physics in that sense because it's easier to rotate, I suppose. Because all you're really doing is rotating the background in a certain direction. 
Because otherwise, you have to use Sprite. Otherwise, you have to use the physics for the Sprite, I suppose. So that's my double shot for the axe. Ah! Crap. Totally forgot he was there. Now he's gone. That was meat. I needed that. Okay, don't hit. Good. Okay, yeah, don't hit that. Because I don't want to lose anything I pick up. It's going to be another triple shot. Right, this is what I'm forced to do. Okay. Yeah, I'm forced to take this route. I'm forced to basically not hit Candle because I don't want to lose the double shot. Hit him. Yeah, okay, whatever. I was hoping to act with him. He's going to chase after me, isn't he? Yep. Saw him. I saw him coming. Bop. Bop. Okay, I'm good. And hit up on the stairs to make sure I don't fall through them and hit the spikes. It's always good. Perfect. All right. Making it work. Let's use this double shot, why don't we? Probably waste a couple of hearts, though. We gotta get some more back. Floating heart. Alright, so can I get that? Not really. Ha! Gotcha! I can't... What, can I hit that? I was supposed to be able to hit that. There it is. I guess I have to actually run up to it. I have to walk up to it and actually pass it, basically. Well, because I knew I knew I had to take it out eventually. I thought I actually I thought I was supposed to float around the screen. Maybe it's a different. Maybe I'm confusing it with a different sarcophagus or whatever. <laughs> I'm confusing it with a different coffin. Sorry. What, yeah, actually, that reminds me. Wasn't, wasn't the head of Konami back then like you know you know a Christian in Japan? Like wasn't he like a Christian convert or something? Which I guess was the reason he was down with some of these Castlevania games, despite the imagery. And yeah, he was cool with it, you know, gothic imagery. Nintendo might have had a problem with it, but he seemed to be cool with it, I guess. If, if, if that uh, interview, like if that, what was it, that, um, what was it? Yeah, if that uh, interview, that fictional interview in in uh, Blake Harris's book, what was it, Console War? Apparently the head of Konami was, you know, he was it. Conservative Christian, and I guess I don't know if he I don't know if he was worried about the imagery in this game, but obviously Nintendo had rules that would have prevented certain kinds of religious imagery to appear anyway. Of course, we all know what happened to the Zelda dungeon. It was like a Maju symbol. We're not gonna have that conversation right now. Maybe later. Just not now. Ha! Neat. Okay, that guy's that guy's gonna try and grab me. And as soon as he grabs me, that uh. That skeleton's gonna chase after me. Can I just crawl underneath here? Yes, I can. Okay. So I do remember this part a little bit. So three hits. Crawl underneath. Again, if you let those hands grab you, that guy with the sword's gonna attack you. I can barely see that. But... I'll probably just do one so you can see how it looks. Okay, we're good. Okay, I'll just do one. Yeah, so I just did it. I just did it once. You can see what happens. So you can see why I was doing that. <laughs> I guess a long play wouldn't include that kind of stuff, but I've played the game enough to know what happened. Okay, here we go. Everything's getting interesting. Triple shot. Probably don't need to do that. These things are gonna attack me. Last price to have on screen, though, am I right? Well, they might be cheating a bit. It's only okay, it's a cute little set piece, but it's not really challenging. It's just kind of there. Wait, wait, tables. Yeah, tables. I can do tables. <laughs> With a witch reference, I know what's going to get. Uh, can a Belmont get a table dance? Is that going to be the name of this video? <laughs> Dance Hall Days? <laughs> yeah, that's the name of this video. Dance Hall Days. And I suppose the uh, description will be, can a Belmont get a table dance? We're not going to have... <laughs> that's enough of that. <laughs> there, will not, there will not be many uh, 
Dirty South rap references in these videos, I don't think. Yeah, well, I didn't need that. That was a waste of time. I'm running, I'm running out of time. I'm dilly-dallying here. Alright, yeah, I'm, I'm running out of time. I'm not gonna be able to beat the boss. Yeah, I'm gonna lose my triple shot. You guys better give me a time bonus. Crap. I had like, I had like 600 minutes. 600 seconds in this stage. Yay, I got a 1-up, okay, I guess. Like 600, yeah, there were 600 seconds at the beginning of the stage, now I'm running out of time. And I died at least once, so I mean... Okay, I'm gonna die. Okay, I got 50 seconds to beat this guy. Less. 40. Triple shot. Do it. Don't. Darn it! And I lost my triple shot. I mean, I can beat these guys pretty easily, but uh, without my triple shot, it's kind of more annoying. Well, I have a bit more time now, so let's do this. Let me see if I can get my whip back to normal. Gangs this stupid leather whip. Which I guess is the reason why these are here. That's for the checkpoint, I guess. I mean, it's not that hard. It's just... I would... Will I ever understand why this game gives you a leather whip and this linear power-up system is so worthless? Never understood that. Ever. I mean, again, it's not like you have to spend, like, half of the stage with a leather whip. Okay, full strength. Out. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. Belmont and the Table Dancers. Yeah, so I guess I want an 80s reference will be Dance Hall Days, but... I kind of prefer Belmont and the Table Dancers. Anyway. Yeah, I just, feel, I just feel the need to incorporate that somehow. I probably just need to move on. But it's just low-hanging fruit. I mean, it's low-hanging fruit. Yeah, oh boy. And I mean that in a PG-rated way. What the, um... God... Okay, I have enough time. I just need to stop wasting time with these stupid phantom dancers. Oh, here comes another one. See, we need more enemies like that. You know, like the Medusas and such. You know, the ones that are really sort of unpredictable or that they're kind of hard to kind of keep track of. Because, I mean, there are sprite problems, but if you threw those guys in with a couple of bats, it might make things a bit more interesting. The level designers, it could have been... It could have been... It would have been cool to see what the level designers could pull off. And I have... I don't have nearly enough. A full, a full help, at least. Darn it. They gotta keep moving a bit. I got him! I got him! Yes! Wow! Okay, hold on. Get my... Darn it! Couldn't get my downward whip going. But I won, which is what counts. I always thought, that was, I always thought this was a good boss theme, by the way. <laughs> that dancing boss theme. Well, I don't remember what the next part is, because the, the treasure stage is the next to last stage. But we'll get to there. We'll do a separate video on that. Here's your cliffhanger.